Hello and welcome to another purveyor of light uh, photomechanic tip this week. Uh, this is actually answering uh, a question that uh, a user wrote in explaining this is they understand, you know, Lightroom and Photoshop and that. They just said, why would I be bothered with an extra program like Photo Mechanic when I can do just about everything in uh, Lightroom? Same thing. And it's a great question. So I'm going to try to answer that today. Uh, as many of you know, I have been with Photo Mechanic since the beginning. Uh, I can't live without it honestly it's my go-to product and there's a lot of reasons for it so I'll try to just give you an overview of why okay so let's jump right in all right so number one why photo mechanic by far the number one thing is speed okay there is nothing faster now when you whether you're a wedding photographer or a sports photographer or wildlife photographer or you're just doing family vacations. Speed matters, especially when you come home with a hundred, a thousand, two thousand images from a, a vacation or a sporting event, etc. When you have to go cull through all those images, that takes time. And Photo Mechanic is by far the fastest and smoothest operation for doing that, for speeding and culling, uh, rating, tagging all that you cannot beat photo mechanic period all right uh variables this is a unique feature of photo mechanic variables uh without getting into over technical things i think we were all took at one time in high school a little uh algebra and a little trigonometry and that and they gave you those formulas x equals blah 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 you know y plus two blah 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 those are variables in other words, the value of them can be set and then recoiled re throughout the thing. And I'll show you briefly how variables are used and how useful they are. Uh, except data, there's no other tool on the market that is as good as Photo Mechanic, period. Yes, Lightroom does contain the ability to record some EXIF, but nothing compared to Photo Mechanic. Okay? And keywords, there's no other better product in the world. All right, so, all right, let's explain it here. I'm going to explain my workflow a little bit to you. So you go out, you do a family vacation, you shoot uh, two weeks on a vacation, you come back with hundreds, if not thousands of photos. And if you're a wedding photographer or a sports photographer, you could have thousands, okay, or more. And that's what we're dealing with here we love photography we take pictures and so they add up to hundreds and thousands of photos over the years all right and that's something to bear in mind with your tools okay so the typical workflow right we go out we we shoot our event whether that's a birthday party or a football game we come home with a whole bunch of photos we we dump them onto a hard drive uh we then d import them into into Lightroom, right? So everything just boom, boom, boom for moving from the camera to the hard drive to the Lightroom. Okay, that's the typical workflow of most people. Okay, problem with that is after one shoot, two shoots, three shoots, five years worth of shoots, it adds up. Okay, the number of photos that you have to store on your hard drive that you have to have a uh, Lightroom manage grows exponentially quick. And everybody knows when you start overloading Lightroom's catalog, it gets slow. Okay. It crawls on some things. All right. So here we are. And this is what happens. Lightroom gets bloated with all these photos. Now, uh, nothing against anybody's photography ability. But the simple fact of the matter is we may have taken hundreds. Maybe we took thousands of photos on a vacation. How many of them are, are good, right? You're going to be able to cull them down to a reasonable number. <coughs> and only a few of them are you're actually going to edit. That's the reality of it. But nevertheless, 
because you've imported all these photos into Lightroom, now Lightroom is big and bloated. Okay? That's why I don't like the catalog system, but I still use it, but I just use it with Photo Mechanic. So what does my workflow look like? Well, basically it is very similar to what we just said. I shoot a thousand photos. I put it to the hard drive. I then, this different step is I go and ingest it into Photo Mechanic. All right? And then you'll notice the difference on the last step is that only 200 of the thousand actually go into the Lightroom catalog. So that keeps our Lightroom lean and mean. And only photos that we're going to keep and edit are in the catalog. The rest of the photos, we're not going to keep them in our Lightroom catalog. We'll keep them on the hard drive, put them away for archive purposes, but we are never going to put them into the Lightroom catalog because we're trying to keep things streamlined, efficient, and it only makes sense, right? Why put a photo that you are not going to edit because it stinks, because it's no good, uh, but you want to keep it for maybe sentimental values? Uh, you won't, don't want to put it in your Lightroom catalog. Okay, so now, what does this give us, right? So if we go a little one step further, if you use Photo Mechanic, and if you're like me, Okay, I use Lightroom, I use Photoshop, I use Capture One, I use Affinity Photo, I, you know, all kinds of tools, all right, that I use. Nick, Nick Collection, all these things. I have multiples of tools that I use for different purposes. And guess what? Because I'm using Photo Mechanic, everything works together. Whereas Lightroom, you're, you're stuck in their system, their catalog, and it won't let you go anywhere and it won't work with anybody else. All right. Whereas Photo Mechanic, I have the versatility to move to any tool with the photos. Okay. So that's a big, big plus. All right. So that's what I want things. Now we're going to go ahead and jump into uh, Photo Mechanic here and we're going to go show you a few things. And I'm not going to go in great depth, but I'm just going to give you an idea. Okay. So let's, uh, I got a football shoot here up on the thing and all the photos that are in the football shoot we got the cheerleaders and yada 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 of the game and so i would i would go through and call these rate them uh etc would be my first step okay so let's just double click on it now i have a thing here now watch the speed of photo mechanic okay watch the speed you can't have any product to compare to the speed of these photos, to going through for culling and rating your photos. There's nothing that is as good as Photo Mechanic, bar none. All right? Now, I don't care what product you use, nothing is going to perform as well as Photo Mechanic. Okay, so that'll give you an idea for what, number one, why I use it. Now, for culling, Okay, I could turn around and just hit the space bar and I can get a zoom in so I can check my focus. Is this a photo I want to keep or don't want to keep? I can also turn around and rate it, color code it, uh, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So if I wanted to color code it, I could just simply come in and, uh, you know, color code it, you know, yellow. And then the photos there, I could rate it uh, one to one star, two star. Uh, and you can see down at the bottom left, I'm getting three star, four star, five star, etc. Right? Just like anything I lay out a product, but this is all being done in the same one. Now, the next thing is dealing with excess data. Okay? It is so important for us to have our XF data. And almost 98% of us don't do it unless we're uh, professional sports photographers. All right? Or something like that. But XF data in your photos is just something you got to get into the habit of doing. That puts your copyright in, it protects yourself with your photos, and it also helps you find photos. Okay? So the XF data is a template, and it's called the metadata template, and it has fields that go as long as my arm. Okay? You don't have to use them all, but they're all there if you do want to use them. All right? Now, if I wanted to 
claim this photo is mine and I hit apply, you'll notice that it fills in my copyright information, my uh, name, uh, the address. It goes to my website, right? It goes to the website. It declares the rights that are uh, associated with the product, okay? All that got put in automatically, and I can have them put into every photo that comes in automatically, all right? Now, I'm going to show you here. It says copyright 2023. Now, this is something that I had set up a long time ago. It's called an exit template, and that's where we use variables. Now, what happens if I go take this picture next year? And it's 2024. So I have to go in and retype it in to be 2024. That's how you, what you have to do in Lightroom. In Lightroom, there are no variables. So you have to go in every year and remember to change your templates, to change your exifs for every year. Kind of a pain in the butt. But with a photo mechanic, I have a template that's intelligent by a uh, and get here, metadata data. Get my thing here, close this here. And metadata template. Okay. You'll notice here copyright, and then it says year four. Year four is a variable. And you can use variables throughout the whole product. Okay. They're basically values that will fill themselves in automatically. Like you'll see another variable here, headline. That will automatically get filled in, the headline of the photo, automatically for you because variables get replaced with the value that they are. So the current year, what is it? It's 2023. So it'll automatically put in 2023. When the year changes and we're in 2024, it will change also because they're variables. And I can't tell you the power that's in there and how fast you can turn around and do this. You, you open up a photo, you wanna add some metadata, there you go in. You can add some additional headlines if you wish. You know, uh, you can use variables to fill in uh, about the team, the players, the player's name. You could have rosters already filled out with variables. Um, everything is crazy easy and efficient and fast. And then when you're done, you just hit okay. Now. I could turn around and do the same thing for every photo in here, okay? And that's one of the great things on this, okay? Let me see if I'm missing anything here. What else? What I got here? Okay, speed, culling, variables, exit data, keywords, okay? So keywords would be the next thing, all right? So if, if I go in here and I go back to this one, uh, I could type in keywords just by putting a comma in between whatever I want. If I want to, you know, for some reason, put the word football or, or anything, right? Uh, let's, let's be creative here and uh, say, uh, oh, I'm going to pick a word here, uh, white bug. I'm just making that up. It's not, of course, not in the photo. But because I put that in there, white bug, all right, I can now search from my photos based on that just by coming up here on a search thing do a white bug and then hit enter and it will automatically bring up the photo that has that particular uh, keyword in it and you could do this for your whole library and i could find photos left and right uh just so easily uh because of this all right all right so this is Photo Mechanic. It has m tons more features, more power, uh, but I'm just scratching the surface. So why do I use it? I, I use it for going through culling, rating, setting, variables, EXIF data, and also minimizing by culling and only bringing in a small subset of photos into Lightroom I keep my Lightroom catalog very lean and mean. Now, how do I how do I turn around and bring things into Lightroom? Well, it's as simple as just taking in a library uh, and turning around and uh, uh, just dragging it and dropping it right into 
uh, Lightroom. I can just take photos from here and just drop it right in and it gets imported into Lightroom. That easy. All right. So again, that's it. And that's why I use uh, Photo Mechanic. Okay. I love the flexibility that it will work with all tools. You know, whether I use Lightroom or Capture One or Photoshop or Infinity Photo or any of the other fine products on the market, this will work with everything. It's efficient, it's fast, and it's one tool that works for everybody. So, in other words, you learn this tool and then you never have to learn another tool again uh, for it. Has nothing to do with editing, it just has to do with all workflow. So, and again, you'll save yourself about 80% of your space, space and efficiency by using Photo Mechanic. Okay, guys, I've rambled on long enough. Hopefully, that'll give you an answer to your question why I use Photo Mechanic. And until uh, next week, you guys take care.